Welcome to our podcast, where we explore fascinating stories and ideas from various fields. In this episode, we discuss the ongoing volcanic eruptions on Jupiter's moon Io. Io, Jupiter's moon, and the most volcanic body in the solar system, has been in upheaval for at least 4.57 billion years. Scientists used the Atacama Large Millimeter Array to track sulfur and chlorine in the Jovian moon's atmosphere. While they knew that the gravitational forces between Jupiter and the neighboring Jovian moons Europa and Ganymede generate immense tidal forces within Io, causing intense volcanism, they weren't sure about how long the influence of Jupiter and its moons had been causing the disruption. It was tough to investigate, as the continuous flow of lava from the extreme volcanism across the surface of Io keeps it looking fresh. Catherine de Clear, team leader and assistant professor of planetary science and astronomy at Caltech, told Space.com, Io's surface is very young, meaning that the lava flows and volcanic plume deposits cover up any features that are more than around one million years old. Therefore, it has not previously been possible to learn anything about Io's volcanic history beyond the past million years which is very recent from a geological perspective. Io represents a big mystery because its surface doesn't hold a record of its history the way that the surfaces of less active moons do. Catherine and her colleagues used ALMA, an array of 66 radio antennas in the Atacama Desert of northern Chile, to look for clues in Io's thin atmosphere. They specifically searched for stable radio isotopes of sulfur and chlorine-bearing molecules. The researchers found that both elements are more present in heavy isotope variants, atoms with a higher number of neutrons, than the average value found across the solar system that occurs as the result of lighter isotopes from other worlds' upper atmospheres. They found that the Jovian moon has lost 94 to 96 percent of its lighter sulfur isotopes it would have only been possible in the face of billions of years of volcanism going back to the origin of Io. We used sulfur isotopes in Io's atmosphere to deduce that Io has been producing sulfur-rich gas and, therefore, that it has been volcanically active for billions of years, de Clear said. This is a nice confirmation of some prior predictions that have been made, she added. While de Clear's team has found something crucial, they aren't done with Io yet. As for what is next, I'd love to know whether Io once had a water ocean and ice crust, as its neighbors Europa and Ganymede do, that was subsequently lost by volcanism or some other means, de Clear concluded. Thanks for tuning into this incredible story. If this episode resonated with you, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button for more captivating stories to come. Stay tuned.